Hi, everybody, and welcome to this week's Writers Chat. This is the place where writers like to get together and talk about all things writers, writing for writers and by writers. So we're glad you're with us. This is hope, we hope today's show will be kind of a fun interchange and chatting all about different things in writing as we celebrate, because we thought this was the week of the celebration in the uh, United States. Tomorrow's the 4th of July. We celebrate Independence Day. Yay! And we weren't sure how many people would be traveling and what all this week. And we said, let's just have an open mic day where we talk about writer's chat and share maybe a little bit about our history, how we got started and share things that we've learned and grown. And that's why we want everybody to stay on today. So my name's Jean Wise. I'm a, a Christian nonfiction writer and I'm joined and I'm going to let them introduce themselves today. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> Because they may have something they want to tell. So, Johnny, why don't you introduce yourself as the other co-host? Okay, I am Johnny Alexander. I write inspirational fiction. I just this last week finished a second novella for Barber, which will be released in March, which was a lot of fun. My next novel will be another contemporary romance. Uh, though I'm also now, this is really cool. I'm writing a serial short story serial for the Clarence Courier, which is a small town newspaper, where Jillian Lancor, who, you know, she's on here sometimes, and, you know, just full disclosure is my daughter, has taken over as the manager and editor, which is just something that only God could have ordained in her life. So, so she, she was given that job opportunity she wanted content, and, I, and we were just kind of laughing. I said, what if I wrote a sh short story that we did did it in episodes, like the old time serials? And so we did. So that first um, short story episode comes out today, I think, in the newspaper. And it's called A Stranger Comes to Spring Light. And it's, it's very silly. And I giggle the whole time I'm writing it. <laughs> giggle <laughs> as I'm thinking about writing it. And it's, it's very different than anything else I've ever written, but it's really fun. So I, you know, you guys are really going to want to try to get a copy of the Clarence Story. <laughs> yeah. Follow that story. <laughs> That's exciting. It's, that it's is really exciting. fun. And We're going to have to talk. <laughs> yeah, I didn't mean to take up so much time with that, but it's, no. it's, it's really fun. <laughs> but it just shows us writers how we can do so many different things yeah. in this field. Mom. So I, that's inspirational. I was going to say, we need to talk them into getting like a digital subscription. I know. That's what I was going to say, because then people could read the story. Yeah. <laughs> Bethany, what about you? I'd share something who you are in case people don't know. Mm -hmm. I think we all know Bethany. But. <laughs> <laughs> well, hi, everybody. <laughs> it's so fun hi. to have everyone on here today. Um, I'm Bethany Jett. I'm a nonfiction author. Um, I'm the co-owner of Serious Writer and the co-owner of Platinum Literary Services. Um, I homeschool my three boys. My husband's in the military, so we love July 4th. I know everyone loves July 4th, but it's really <laughs> special this year. Um, and I'm under book contract right now for a mom devotional with Michelle Medlock Adams that Kriegel is publishing. It'll be uh, both of our first time publishing with Kriegel, so we're really excited to be um, with them together. And uh, I don't know. I'm also writing for the Clarence Courier. <laughs> <laughs> it pays no chill. <laughs> Here's the thing. As soon as she said she was taking over, we both had a different, <laughs> I'll write for you oh, to yeah. build my publication history and now use that as leverage to do other newspaper columns. <laughs> so um, since the book that we're writing is for moms, I am writing a column called The Mom Life for her as just like more like a lifestyle kind of column. So. I want to know all of their publication numbers so I can put them in my proposal. <laughs> like my next it is a very, very, very small deal. <laughs> it is. <laughs> but I think that just means more eyes read the paper. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. anyway. Well, you got to know the local gossip, what's going on locally. That's what sells the paper more than anything is the local information yep. on the on, And truly, on that. I mean, the girl that were the gal, she was a girl, the woman who was leaving that position approached Jill and said, I think you'd be great at this. What do you think? And, you know, there you go. <laughs> Who you know. Well, you you never know as writers when opportunities will come along, which will take us back to today's topic. Exactly. 
Great thing on, on that. And I, you know, I, I just said we, we want this kind of an, an interactive today about what about writers chat as a whole. What what's meant to you? What have you learned? What have you grown? So start thinking about that as we talk about this. But we ought to start with our history a little bit because some of you have only been here recently. You have no idea if we are <laughs> one years old or are we a teenager? Are we fifteen years old? No. You know, in that way. So anyway, I I look back and I'm gonna ask my uh, cohorts here to help us out. I, <laughs> We have a Google Doc that we share with ideas and stuff, and it started in April 2016, but we were on the air before that, weren't we? Definitely, yeah. and Johnny, you, do you guys remember? I cannot remember. I kind of remember. Um, Periscope was hitting its stride, and a lot of mm -hmm. people were on Periscope, and Jeannie had, on Black Friday, I think, had purchased some kind of web something. Mm -hmm. I don't remember what. And she and I were talking about using that um, that to promote our periscopes. And, and I remember we're sending emails, are you really going to do this? And yeah, we're really going to do this. And, and we didn't. But, uh, but, but we didn't because then we got on Blab. And it was like, oh, Blab is so much more fun than Periscope, and I don't even remember whose idea it was really to do writer's chat or the name or anything, but, but we decided this is what we we're going to do and kind of pulled Bethany into it, and it's like, yeah, yeah, let's just see how this works, and Blab worked really well for us because with Blab at that time, you just put your show up and people would find you. You would schedule it and people would find you. And we would get all kinds of, of people uh, popping in. And we just started having these discussions. And then yeah, Blab lovely. disappeared. Just, just like just one day, it yeah. was gone. And we went through a real rocky period as we tried to find another program that would work. And we tried different things and nothing was really doing. And so some of you stuck with us through all of that. And it was crazy because we kind of didn't know from one week to the other what we were going to be doing. And part of it was, is we wanted to be able to have the three of us on plus yeah. maybe a guest or even two guests yeah. or do something like what we're doing today, which is almost like the Brady Bunch stuff. You don't yeah. have multiple people on. And the chat. It's I a mean, chat. Yeah. You don't have a chat, you know. So what would you say, would you say, did we actually start in the, at the first part of 2016 or before that I think maybe even before that I was just trying if you remember whenever you bought that defunct web periscope writers or something like that, that yeah. it was like yeah Jeannie I'll do it I'll do it and then we were like oh no yeah. so it was probably late 2015 early 2016 yeah. do you remember Bethany at all we dragged well, you into it so on my side of it, <laughs> I had started Serious Writer Academy in March of 2015, and Periscope was sort of coming around then too. So I just remember being on, on the phone with my mom, and she said, Janie and I have this idea. We want to do something similar but different. We want to use Periscope, blah, blah. I'm like, oh, that works perfectly. So I think mm -hmm. it was probably mid-2015. Okay. Oh, wow. Summer or fall. It was. I know it was like, because of that timeline, I know it was sometime in so even a year earlier than we thought. So yeah, we've been doing this a while. And if someone suggested Zoom, I'm not sure who, uh, but whoever it was, thank you very much. <laughs> because really, I mean, Zoom has become a go-to for me, not just for writer's chat, and I think for some other people too. Oh, yeah. record, I record my Serious Writer Academies using Zoom. I use Zoom to do my novelist uh, unwind interviews. Uh, Bethany and Jill and I are sometimes on Zoom, uh, you know, committee meetings i'm on the executive committee for the mid-south christian writers conference and everybody lives in memphis but me and and i'm able to participate because of zoom so and just just fyi this morning i got on zoom and just used it as the recording mechanism recorded a bible study for my church oh, it's, on the church, it's on the church facebook page now so it wow. has a lot of uh, stuff that we can do with it so we've been happy Absolutely. but it's been an interesting how platforms change and i think we also have to take a minute and reflect just as our conversation started if you would have told me as a writer a couple of years ago we'd be doing this ah uh, no <laughs> way you know so to be able to be open 
to opportunities as they come along, especially with the rapid changes and rapid changes in technology. Right. You know, we, we got to yeah. shift gears a little bit quicker, girls, than we, I think we're all girls. I don't know. I haven't looked. There's Rick. No, Rick here. Rick, sorry, Rick. <laughs> Writers, we have to shift gears sometimes on a dime a little bit quicker on that. And so, Bethany, I, I did want you to share a little bit about the whole thing, with the, the, the progress we've made with SeriousWriters.com and when Kyle jumped on and all that, because there's in, in uh, almost a writer celebrating a big anniversary right now. So kind of catch us up a little bit with that right now, too. Okay, so um, it was so funny. It's funny how God works and you don't even know that things are happening because I started Serious Writer Academy and Kyle started almost an author in the same year. And we I don't even think we knew each other that year or we had already met because we've competed. I'm not sure the year before. So neither of us knew that the other person was doing this. We weren't really like super really friends at this time. So um, almost an author who um, Writers Digest listed as a top, you know, 101 mm -hmm. website for writers this last year for 2018, um, which is fantastic in three years, um, is celebrating their third birthday and their official birthday is July 1st. Um, Serious Writer Academy is also celebrating their third birthday and our official birthday is sometime in March. I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> so um, it sounds and, like Writers Chat's at least three years old. So. <laughs> Um, and so then when, um, last year in June, Kyle and I, uh, were friends at that point and we, we decided, well, he calls it, we each had, we had each had one side of the puzzle. Like if you break it in half, he had almost another, I had Serious Writer Academy. And, um, he's like, we were just like, if we merge this together, this could be something big. Well, that merging of those companies has turned into, uh, crazy <laughs> and serious writer incorporated so we have conferences and events and online instruction like it my dreams for the Academy have gone beyond anything that I ever expected them to we never thought there would be the events that we're doing and then almost not they're now hit that big milestone with writers digest which is really big um, and then writers chart we love partnering with them too which is <laughs> perfect because um, really the whole point is leverage and networking and how can we get that was the idea behind the academy was how do we get people who teach these conferences who you become friends with how do we get them to people who can't get to the conferences that was the whole mission behind it and that's kind of what writers chat has become too a little bit is as we go to conferences we meet people how can we get them to a broader audience and have you guys actually be able to meet them on here especially in the after party hours i know that i think there's at least a couple maybe more success stories of people who have gotten an agent based on conversations they've had at a writer's chat meeting. And so like just the follow up afterwards. So it's, it's working. <laughs> I it, forgot the question. <laughs> well, anyway, it, I just think, well, it was the, how this whole thing kind of evolved. I remember talking to Bethany uh, and Johnny online might've been on the zoom conference probably a year ago and thinking, I feel like I've been thrown into a rushing roaring stream of water being carried down you know abrupt and not sure all what was going to happen you know and i i hope this encourages you guys as writers to be open you know because uh, god brings us wonderful opportunities and sometimes we say yes <laughs> you know if we discern it's the right time you know we could say yes on that i don't know johnny how do you feel about all this uh yeah <laughs> Yeah, I just, I have loved Writer's Chat. I love the, it just makes my Tuesday, you know. It feels like the whole day then just kind of goes, well, you know. I like what Rhonda just wrote. Serious Writer's, Writer's Chat, almost a writer. Connecting with them has made me Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Good, good word. Well, that's one thing we thought we would talk about today. And this is where we want, we invite you guys to jump in, in that these last couple of years is, We've done writer's chat over three years. We've, we've done writer's chat. What do you think is some of the benefits of us meeting together every Tuesday at 11 o'clock? Or, and, and, you know, it's maybe something that you've learned or how it helped you as a writer. Maybe we could do some sharing on that. And I'll throw it out to Johnny and Bethany maybe to start if they want to throw something on that. And we'll see if anybody else wants to jump in. Mama? Um, I was reading, reading chats and I was listening <laughs> I was, I was reading and responding to chat. Um, 
okay the main the main point was just something was what have you learned or what are your benefits what, what did what have you what, guys okay, one big big benefit has been um just being on camera and feeling much more comfortable yeah. on camera because yeah. we are in an age where you know it's live video is is the thing i still don't do a lot of that outside of of this mm -hmm. but i know if it had not been for writer's chat i would not be doing novelist unwind which is really um a growing platform for me. I'm interviewing other inspirational authors, uh, novelists, and it uh, has been such an opportunity to talk to, to to different authors about their stories and to record those and, and all of that. So I know I would not be doing that if not for Writer's Chat. And so it's like, you know, it's, it's again, kind of a progression thing. You know, we started out kind of with Periscope and Blab, now we've got Writer's Chat, and then I'm, you know, I'm doing that. And you, know, you just don't know then what, that next step might might be and it's kind of kind of exciting so i think for me a big thing is just feeling more comfortable being filmed and do you want to share bethany what you put in the chat because i think that's a lot of it too energized you said you're in oh yes so after <laughs> writer's chat especially because it's like you're all ready to go and um and our speakers are always so encouraging and I always feel like I'm ready for the next step about whatever topic it was and so usually I'm really super productive right after writer's chat those next couple <laughs> of hours are like mega work but I'm also because I've been on camera speaking for for mm -hmm. usually for most of those um I find that I'm constantly trying to pull my sister and my mom back into a zoom <laughs> so I probably should just start recording a recording a podcast right after writer's chat since I'm already in the mode that's what it is but there is something to being the film thing going back to that too because i had to film a, a happy birthday video for serious writer academy some of you may have seen it and i took like six takes on it and i was like this is ridiculous like filming myself was harder when i wasn't live and so i think just remembering then that if you always do your videos as if it's a first take live that makes it easier and i never thought that i would say that live video was more comfortable for me than filmed video but it wow. has twisted and that is a growing thing because it wasn't at first it was hard to be live and now it's easier <laughs> there's less pressure to say the words right <laughs> that's very interesting insight very interesting insight i love the networking and i think it was mm -hmm. tina that might have said that in the chat that you know we're so isolated and i agree with that so isolated in it that way and this feels like just a moment where i'm talking to people who talk my same language who if i say i'm under deadline or i <laughs> i can't get inspired or whatever you guys know you know nobody else here in my house has <laughs> any idea if i sit there and say oh my blog did this or i'm having this tech problem nobody else knows <laughs> and say, i hate microsoft word <laughs> <laughs> you guys understand. You know, I, I love that connection for an introvert. An hour is yeah. enough to last me for probably a week. <laughs> but, uh, I, I personally, that's something I gain. From Let's it, bring uh, Melissa on. Melissa really yeah. is. She's part of our team, but she's she's behind the scenes, and she but she does so much for us. And um, so, you know, we get to kind of be the, the face of writer's chat, but Melissa certainly is the heart. <laughs> yes, I that. <laughs> that keeps us going, and we're so glad to have her on our admin team and part of that. So, Melissa, yeah, um, let's give the floor over to you for a little bit. She's like, no. I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can get me later. We love Melissa. <laughs> <laughs> No, I, I, Jean mentioning introvert thing. Yeah, I like the behind the scenes. Behind the scenes is good. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, I, I don't know that I could say enough about what Writer's Chat has done for me. It, it's, it, it's, as you, you guys said, you know, it's that lonely profession. You're, you feel like you're isolated and you are. I mean, but uh, we're really isolated out here. I'm like, we're not in town isolated. <laughs> So yeah, there there is was nobody except online for me to communicate with, and when the opportunity came to join Writers Chat, it just kind of opened up a new world for me. And uh, not only did I get to meet all of you wonderful people, but then eventually I got to um, talk with um, Sherry Lynn Stefano, 
and she helped me with my book proposal. And then eventually I submitted that to Heartline Literary Agency and got a contract with Kyle. Yay. Now, now Yay. I'm hopefully one day going to get to see that first book in publication. And that, that's, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. I can't say enough. It's awesome. I love you guys. So again, it's been a lot of opportunities. Maybe that's the, going to be the word of the hour here. You know, a lot of opportunities come along. What about the rest of you? What is something you gained or learned from Writer's Chat over the last, where, however length of time you've been? What, what is something else you'd like to hear? We'll, we'll get some of the others on here. I'll go ahead. Yeah. Um, for me, I got invited first to be a speaker. I had never heard of Writer's Chat. And uh, I had met some of you at, at writers' conferences. And uh, one thing I've really learned is that writing is a business. And it isn't just sitting down at your computer. Although I must admit, I need some more sitting down at your computer. <laughs> I've, I've been creating websites and doing lots of things. And I had lots of technical knowledge that I didn't know applied to the writer's life. And that's mm -hmm. been exciting to me as I've plugged in and listened to some of the uh, lectures and so forth. I understand more now that some skills, life skills I've developed are really useful for other writers. And one thing that I just love about Writers Chat is the opportunity not just to receive but to give back. I feel like everybody brings something to the table. And uh, finding out that I had something to bring to the table was really exciting because as a as a new writer, I've just kind of gone from conference to conference to conference and thought, well, I'll just, you know, listen. But uh, you lose a lot when all you do is listen. You really need to speak out and participate. And uh, that participation and, and the joy of doing that has really changed things for me. Um, and I also think the writers chat there are some influential people in the writing world that are part of this uh this community and the whole thing about networking um i just submitted my first uh proposal to kyle young uh he had a deadline by july 1st and i squeaked in on <laughs> and one of the things i learned in watching his videos was was about platform mm -hmm. and i don't have a whole lot of platform yet but he talked about borrowed platform. In other words, knowing mm -hmm. people who have a huge platform. And um, so I have to admit, some of your names are in that proposal. <laughs> <laughs> people I know who might just might be willing uh, to say, yeah, I think she can write. So uh, it, it's been it's been quite a journey for me and a real blessing to be part of writing. I'm so glad. Yeah. Oh, that is wonderful. How, how I think that too, Rhonda. Yeah. Yes, you have been. And I, I love your yeah. idea of giving back too, which to me, the writing community does do that. You go to these writers conferences and, and it's not a competition. It is, you know, a, a, a helping field in a lot of ways. We do help each other because again, we understand it is community. Yeah. It I think on, on that way. I Anybody have one thing to say for Rhonda, because um, I would have thought that just about any kind of writing tips, newsletter, blog, whatever was already out there, and it was, would be sort of silly for someone to try to start something new. But Rhonda, I think you found a good niche. I love your newsletter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I do. And it's like, wow, there, there still are opportunities for people who really want to do this. But, you know, not all the writing you know there, there's room for more there's room for more so kudos to you for the approach you're taking and and the voice you use in it which i think is one of the appeals for me i just um it's it's just fun to read <laughs> there you go there you go on that way you know was well, speaking of marketing anybody want to share what they've learned about marketing from writer's chat that's a that's a broad area well, Come on, people. Yeah, <laughs> I gotta hear all of it. <laughs> we can't have dead space. We're recording. <laughs> um, um, well, I've learned um, the importance of having uh, a platform and getting your presence out there. Mm -hmm. And that's all part of marketing from what I'm learning. Mm -hmm. And I actually finally got on Twitter 
a couple weeks ago. Rachel, Rachel helped me get on. Bless her heart. She spent two hours with me um, oh. getting that established. And Good. I've loved it. And um, it's been a real encouragement. And um, I went to my first conference, as many of you know, the Blue Ridge uh, mm -hmm. Writers Conference. And uh, Tina, you were the first one that I saw, the first Aww. familiar face, because I went all by myself. <laughs> And um, then I got to meet Bethany and Sherilyn and um, some others and, and, <laughs> yep. And so um, we just, it was great. And it was first time writer, first time, first conference. Um, mm -hmm. And to see faces that I had, that I knew um, made it really great. And so um, it, it was real special. And now to see, Waiting to see what God's going to do with all that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's great. Is my mic working? Yes, yeah. I can hear you. Okay. Go ahead. I got brave. You guys encouraged me to take steps out, and I've been. My first Blue Ridge was a year ago, and um, heard about all the marketing stuff, and I was scared spitless. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've one by one started. Branching out is I've had encouragement from different ones of these talks. Um, I started with a Facebook author profile, mm -hmm. um, slowly figured out how to add Twitter, and now I've just started um, an Instagram. Yay! <laughs> Good for you. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> All the while trying to implement what you guys have taught me um, to continue and finish and push to the next step for my writing. So. That's exciting. That is exciting. Yeah, it's got brave. I love this bravery. And I, I think in, in back to what Norma said about meeting, when you meet each other in person too, isn't that such a gift? That is so fun, so fun. So both of those. Anybody else want to add something, especially in the area of marketing? I like how we are able to ask questions on Writer's Chat. I don't think anybody's mentioned that. No. And that way you can personalize the information mm -hmm. that you need to get and you can kind of have a discussion. And, and not only can you personalize it to what you need to hear and what you need to understand and, and interact with your speakers, but you also get to remember better. I think when we discuss, we remember better than we do yeah. when we sit in a lecture. So it helps us to learn and make it personally applicable to what we're doing and where we are. So that's really a great benefit to this as opposed to lots of other ways you can learn information. Yeah, that is great. Yeah, yeah. It's a great point. And Rhonda's put in the, in the chat's fun. I don't know if you guys have been following the chat or all day, but they've gone off on Myers-Briggs personality. <laughs> of the whole thing and with a lot of humor. <laughs> A lot of humor over there, and I, but you know, you know, and that could be a whole episode. I think we could do an episode of Myers Briggs or, or stuff because we could use Get that Tina. as writers. Plus, yeah, and we'd have Tina on maybe to help us a little bit. But we could talk about the characters, which is like you said, you Tina has helped develop that. Is that a course on serious writers on the yes. characters? Okay. It is. It yes. is a class that you need to have in your arsenal. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I will brag on it all day long. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, uh, it's, it's just, I'm missing some of the stuff in the chat, but the <laughs> chat <laughs> is fun <laughs> on, on that way. Um, Norma, but she's been invited to be a contributing writer to a new page on Facebook called Faith Beyond Fear. Norma, yes. that is wonderful. Where is she? I'm trying to find her Congrats. on. Congrats. loser. Yeah. Yeah, she's, she's hiding, but yeah, hiding. that's okay. wonderful. But I just think congratulations on that. And, you know, and like you said, I <laughs> go back to that whole thing about being brave, you know, that we are brave to take the next step. Sometimes all we need is that encouragement, you know. And did you see what Melissa said? That she's saving the chat because she's getting good content for a blog post. <laughs> <laughs> that is a smart thing to do. That's great. Yeah, okay. you can save the chat. There's, and you know, we do try to put the links on that. And if you're, you know, watching the replay, you do kind of miss out on that. Um, but the chats are saved, and there are ways to to. Well, to teach us real quick a uh, tech thing. You know, I'm not sure if I know how to save the chat. How do you do? You do that at the end of the show. It's really easy. Do you see in the little chat box down there? 
next to the box that says everyone is a box that says more you click that arrow oh and okay and save chat so do you hit that now during the broadcast or you hit it at the end i hit it periodically throughout but i think the it saves it from the point that you get on i do it just to be safe because i don't know but um mm -hmm. not totally tech savvy here but yeah i you just save it and it should save it as long as you're online okay and then you find that into wherever you save save it documents it creates a zoom file and it'll be okay i have a zoom file so it probably would download right there oh, and then whoever makes the recording um when the recording ends a chat is automatically saved too so i've been doing the recordings lately so i would have saved okay. chats so if you really need one contact me if i don't have them uh genie might have them <laughs> i might have an old one yeah i might have them or becca yeah. might so <clears throat> different people do recordings, but you could you certainly could try to get hold of a chat if that. Uh, and I, I agree with Norma. Sometimes it's hard to follow both. That's one reason why we try <laughs> to have three co-hosts. And yeah. when there's only one, one of us available, we try to ask someone else. So sometimes you might yeah. be asked to come on because <laughs> because it helps to have several pairs of eyes done that. Yeah. Uh, I will say I really appreciate when you guys put links into the chat mm -hmm. because then I'm not furiously writing down and I just know that I can rely at the end. I can get onto the chat and get what I need and uh, it helps me be able to listen to know that you guys are Yeah. Okay. Tina, what, what's your question? question? If you can download it as a file, could you, when you post your replays, Maybe. also post that file with it? That's so a good that idea. All those links? I think that might be helpful. I'll try that today. <laughs> Okay. Well, we've talked about it, but sometimes there's things in the chat that are like, Ooh. like I've gone back through the chat before and it's weird. <laughs> <laughs> like if you're following when you go, <laughs> I read through one. This is psycho <laughs> because there's three conversations happening. But what we do want to do because the because of the links is have someone pull the links out of the chat and then move those over. That would be really helpful. That would be. We helpful. do need a volunteer for that. So if anyone is looking for a job, oh, well, that's, awesome. <laughs> that's what I try to do when I I um oh, okay. meet, meet, tend to write a okay. chat. If I miss one, I don't get the link. But when I'm there, then afterwards I'll put it on a blog post on my site and categorize the links for everybody and kind of give a background reference of what they were for. And then I share that to writer's chat and that's when they can click on that. that okay, link. there you go. Those so where, Melissa, where is it, Melissa? Is it in the Facebook page or? Yes, well, I okay. share it on the Facebook page and Serious Writer. So it gets on both when I create the blog post until <laughs> then I share it there after I create it. And it should also, I do it after the live video goes up. So then I give a link to the video as well. <laughs> well so I'm watching I'm, on YouTube if I watch the replay. So I should watch it on Facebook so I can get the links. Is that right? We just probably should move the links into the YouTube description. That, okay. would, be, that would be good, actually. That would be good. There's no, lots no. of little, I'm, I'm promoting for <laughs> Melissa to have an apprentice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. In the chat. Be if anybody wants to learn that <clears throat> on, on that we'll, we'll welcome because we need uh, a fourth fifth oh, how many number fifth, we need person. someone else to do some of that little admin stuff on, on that way we really I, do to rel relate because there's also another little task and i'm not going to mention it on air but there's another little task that kind of would go in with with this that would be a good opportunity so yes we are we are speaking uh, a volunteer yeah. Why don't they send Bethany an email? Bethany, are you coordinating <laughs> that or no? Or Melissa. Go ahead. Melissa, Melissa, send Melissa an email. Yeah. How about Melissa, put your email in there and send Melissa an email. A couple of people had questions about time and maybe you could give specifics on an email on that way if somebody's interested because this would be yeah, great yeah, we've got a couple people interested and that would be great because yeah we've got a couple of little jobs well. we got little jobs that aren't getting done and we may have missed yeah. things like tina and some of those little things got missed over the last couple yeah. of weeks we, we, we've been switching behind the scenes on some stuff and yeah i'm gonna say melissa's email just for anyone who's listening who won't see the chat who might want to be interested in helping who missed today m-n-s-t-r-o-h at gmail.com okay I'm gonna say it one more time because Nope. M N S T R O H at gmail.com. Thank you. Good, good deal. Good deal. 
And Lisa, you put something in the chat. Do you yes. want to? I think you hit a couple of really neat things there. You know, uh, do you want to share a little bit what you put in the chat and talk to us about what you mean on that? Sure. Um, you mean about the book proposal and signing yeah. with Harvard and the on-the-job training? I love that. I love how you describe. <laughs> you know, it. I, I keep finding that uh, we all are on the job training with, with writing, <laughs> as we should with everything. Uh, we're never we're never completely there. Uh, you know, I used to believe that a writer sat down and just all those beautiful words flowed out, but you know, <laughs> it's not like that. No. And um, all the aspects of it, like this book proposal, I have been pitching for a year. I started last year at the BRM CWC and. Um, got signed in June of this year. So perseverance is such a key yeah. and being involved with um, all of you has been so encouraging and really keeps me spurred on uh, to keep going. So. Thank you. And congratulations. And thank you. Yeah, you, got you, uh, you, you, did you get an agent that said, yeah, you signed with Heartline, you know? I that's did, good. yeah. 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 Begins, right? Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. And that, that way, that is great. That is great. Yeah. On on that way. Well, this is this has been, you know, the the idea for today's show started a couple, oh, probably a couple months ago, because somebody just happened to make the comment about since they've been watching writers chat, this, this, and this has happened, and and that made us think that. Hey, we should stop and celebrate our community here a little bit, you know, and the on that. And then we thought, what else on Fourth of July week? <laughs> you know. I pleasantly surprised there's 14 participants on a holiday week, you know. I know traveling. I, this is great, you know. I don't think that'll happen around Christmas. So. <laughs> well, Terry seems to have left us that Terry was traveling and she started out with <laughs> She was in the car, and yeah, it was pretty true. cool that she and her yeah. husband were driving. What and stuff? So, what what else? Have we? I want to be sure everybody's had a chance to participate on something that they've learned or shared, or something that they like about Writers Chat. I want to be sure everybody's had a chance. I love that we pray for each other. Mm -hmm. And that we are spiritually stronger together. This is, we are the encouragers. We are the bringers of inspiration and word. And we're attacked wherever our gifting is. And so yeah. because we're the bringers of words and because we're the bringers of inspiration, we're going to be attacked and our words will seep away and we will begin to get discouraged and deflated. But together, if we come together in mutual encouragement, where we see each other face to face like this, we have the opportunity yeah. to come against that together the way we couldn't do by ourselves. So I kind mm -hmm. of love that spiritual component of nourishing yeah. one another. I think that's really important. Thank you for that. Yeah. That is... Very and we have had, um, we have the after party for those of you <laughs> watching when we play. After we do recording, it does not quite end. We don't all go our separate ways. And it's, and it's always fun. I mean, you know, we laugh and we ask questions and talk some more. But we have had some very deep prayer times in our after mm -hmm. party. And, and Tina is um, often is the one who brings that because she just prays beautifully. And some people just have that gift, you know, and, and, and she certainly does. And it's always um, a blessing and a pleasure when Tina says, let's just pray about that right now. And she yeah. does. And, and Sherilyn, yeah, too, is fairly good there, about that. Yeah, yeah. Really 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 Sherilyn awesome also program. has that gift. And it's it. just been, it's, she's not with us today, and it's just, it's just wonderful. And that's something that happens, you know, after and, it's, and, it's cool. and don't you think, and this is something about the power of video too, because we see each other's faces and we get to know each other's personalities a little bit. I, it, it, you come to my mind, my heart more often in prayer because there's a mm -hmm. other levels of connection or something. I, you know, I wish I could say I prayed consistently for everybody all the time, but because of this event, this sense of family connectiveness on different levels, it's, you do come to mind a lot often when I'm doing my prayer on that way. Who said something about an oasis? I missed that. Where did I see that? Uh, that was Rhonda. I mean, oh, Rhonda. Tell us about that, Rhonda. Well, right now I am uh, in a season of caregiving for my mother who has a terminal illness. 
And I don't know, I think most people are like me. You wear, you know, the very first writer's chat I attended, you guys were wearing hats. Like, <laughs> oh, so, I remember that. For, for, for me, a lot of times I wear other hats. I'm a caregiver, mm -hmm. I'm a daughter, I'm a, I'm a mother, I'm a wife, I'm a pastor's uh -huh. wife. You know, and there are times I forget that I'm a writer. But mm -hmm. Tuesday mornings, when I connect here, I remember I am also, I'm a writer. And I need to make time for this role in my life and not, and not just get uh, so uh, poured so thinly in other areas of my life that I neglect my writing. Mm -hmm. And so I, you know, we talked earlier about it being energizing. It is energizing. And some of my best hours too, Bethany, are right after I get mm -hmm. off of writer's chat because right I, here I am with my, you know, backside in my chair, like Kyle used to say, <laughs> and, and I take off writing. And uh, it really is an encouragement to me. It just feels like, yes, I've got wind for another week. Mm -hmm. That is beautiful. That's a hard place to be in, too, I know. With, it is. Um, yeah. It is. Responsibilities. We know. Lisa said she had something else. To yeah. Share. All right. This is, okay, this is good and bad. It's mostly good. But look what <laughs> y'all made me do. Oh. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> well, if you were in that was <laughs> last <laughs> week. Yeah. And the scary. other thing is, the one thing he, one other thing that uh, Brennan shared was how he he wrote out the the whole book with with no headings or anything. He just sat down and wrote out what what did he choose? Mark. Yes, I think Mark. you're right. The book of yeah. Mark. Yeah. Well, we in our in our in our church are going to start Jeremiah within the week, and I thought, okay, I'll start. I'll just start writing out <laughs> Jeremiah. So. You know, there are there are other wonderful components that come as a result of the speakers we have, and mm -hmm. I'm I'm so thankful. And now I have more reading to do, but oh, so good! I'll give you another one, and and just for you know those who might not have been here, Brennan McPherson was our guest, and he talked about writing out a book from the Bible so that you don't have the verses and you're just just reading it and. Kudos to you for taking on Jeremiah. Oh, <laughs> you know, it's a pretty long hey, love well, my pastor shows that. <laughs> <laughs> Still, to want to do that. And then just a little plug for Brennan. I got his newsletter this morning, and we talked a little bit about his Psalm 23 um, yeah. book, and it's releasing today. So. Oh, oh wonderful. So let's, oh, I'm going to go on Amazon and grab that link. And put it yeah. In. Yeah, right. Will you do one for me too, please, Bethany? The, <laughs> the Hunter in the Valley of the Shadow of Death, I believe is the name of the book. Let's help him get to number one today, guys. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I will tell you, I read an early, earlier draft and it was fabulous. And I, I believe he had made some edits and was doing some changes to it and all that. So I've not read the final copy, but, but what I read was just absolutely lovely beautiful kindle so, thank you for that did you find it Bethany? yeah the kindle version is 99 cents and the paperback is 7.99 oh. so i'm putting in the link i think this yeah. is going to take you to the ebook but you can switch it over to the paperback brennan mcpherson for those of you watching who also want to get this book and you know he said something which is it helped us as writers he talked a lot about the negative reviews and what he's learned yeah from that how he processed that and you don't find that discussion a lot other places i don't mm -hmm. think and to be able to talk to him and listen to his word as he processed uh those negative views and what he learned how he took the threes and four stars how those became the most valuable was that was a tip i'm always going to remember you know because rejection's hard and, and negative reviews are hard but what, what didn't we learn from him on, on that? Yeah. So that was very positive. And he was hit hard. I mean, I don't know how many of you then went back and looked <laughs> on Kane, especially. I mean, it was, it was brutal. And when I was getting prepared to um, interview him for Novelist and Wine, and it's like, oh my gosh, I kind of want to ask him about this bit. You know, it's kind of an upbeat show. It's not, <laughs> it's not, it's not a gotcha show or a sad show. And so I had kind of decided not to because it, you yeah. know, it just, there were so many negative reviews and he brought it up and, and we talked about it. And then after he, afterwards, after we got done with that recording, I asked him about coming on writer's chat and talking about 
the, the reviews because Jeannie's right. We don't want to talk about our negative reviews. They hurt, especially early on. They don't bother me as much now as they used to. But, you know, when it's your first book and it is slammed, I mean, you, you just, it, uh, it had, it was just painful. He said it was painful. <laughs> it is. It is. It is. And we need to talk about those times as writers. So that's, we do. Yeah. The and negative He survived time. it and he went and he on. Survived it. Yes. And he, he learned did. from it. And he, he learned talked it. about the lessons he learned on the first one that he did yeah. incorporate in the second one. Yeah. So sometimes he, some of the reviews are legit. We are learning. Yeah, Who said sure. that? Lisa, that was lifelong. Or somebody talked about us being a lifelong learner, you know, and it, you know, and we support each other and help move forward, as Jan said. You know, I agree. I agree on, on, on that way. Yeah. Um, yeah on that. Uh, one quick thing before we, and Bethany brought up a good topic. I do want to spend a few minutes talking about uh, ideas for future shows or speakers, oh. ideas like that. I want to spend a little bit of time with that. But we've got to bring up one aspect of Writer's Chat that we haven't talked about, though. Somebody mentioned it. It might have been Rhonda mentioned it in the chat was I call it cats and, and kids and construction. All the noise and interruptions that we get. The cats, uh, Johnny, you've been especially known to bring cats on the show. I don't bring <laughs> dogs. dogs. She just wanders, wanders by, and I'm afraid of her, and I will not knock her off. But yeah, I mean, that's Jennifer, and she, she's not here. She lives with my sister, and I'm not there right now, so Jennifer's not part of the show. And, of course, Griff likes to kind of get in my lap sometimes, my collie. So yeah. he's in the other room today, so he can't. And, and yeah. stuff. And, yeah, they, they like to walk across the keyboards, don't they? For, I don't know what it is about cats, keyboards or, or yeah. up on our shoulders or something like that. I don't have pets, so. But, but I, I had construction. The, I love the little puppy. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> uh, there you go. Oh, uh, yeah. We like seeing the puppy and how the puppy grows and stuff like that. We've had well, kids wander in, haven't we? Or wander yeah, which is kids. fun. Do you remember when um, Bocara Brumley, who's not been on here for quite a while, but she was outside and she showed us her baby goat? <laughs> <laughs> That's been a while, but she, she's mentioned yeah. ghosts, and I said, I've got to see them, and bless her heart, she turned her camera so we could see them. So, there yeah. we go. I've had construction noise, but mo most of it's done. They'll be here next week a little bit, yeah, but most of it's done, so that's that's always always fun on, on, on that. And um, I like the yeah. different places, too. We've got Vicki. <laughs> Well, sometimes pop on and she'll be outside. Yeah. Bitter cold up here in Ohio and she'll be outside and there'll be blue sky. I mean, that gives me hope too. <laughs> <laughs> on, on, on that. And the rest of us are inside cold. And then kids, like I said, it's always been fun with kids. But there's been some ideas in the chat and we did want to spend a few minutes picking your guys' brain, brainstorming what else, which topics that you would like to see. Now we better be saving this chat, one of you guys. I'm writing them down. <laughs> I'm, in the, <laughs> down but, I'm in the spreadsheet, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there you go, and, and, and that way. But you yeah. even have a conversation about, because uh, uh, there's probably, there's areas we've missed or somebody else that you might know or as a contact. What, what's your greatest need that you, what else would you like to see us talk about? Because we've got some ideas coming up, but we've got some open yeah, we like too. that. Yeah, and I we would mean, love to make it something be realistic. I just guys. put an idea in the chat, Jean. Um, I've, I was at a writer's conference where I just went through so many ideas with um, Bob Hosteller was my appointment. And he mm -hmm. said, you stop writing books and start writing book proposals. And, and so uh, just, just to get, a, you know, a start on several. And uh, as I, I went home right away, I was, I'm very obedient person. <laughs> <laughs> Away and got started. I, my manuscript had won an award and I had all this momentum and I went through and, you know, checking, I bought Terry Whalen's book on book proposals and I'm checking off my list and I got to the section on, you know, analyze the competition basically. And I just, everything shut down. I had uh -huh. not a clue no, to know what to do. Where do I find this? You know, there must be some tool out there that you use. And what happened to me is I just got an, on Amazon because I'm an Amazon pro. Mm -hmm. 
And, and I started looking for book titles like mine. Mm -hmm. and I found one that had a book title and I'm like, oh my gosh, she wrote my book. And, <laughs> and you know, I really, it really deflated me. Yeah. But then I bought her book and I won't say who she was, but I bought her book and I started reading it and I, I discovered, okay, what I'm saying is different from what she's saying, even though our title is pretty much the same. And as a new writer and as a developing writer, you know, I expect I'll write more book proposals. And I'd really like to know about that section. How do you make that really shine? Because yeah. I wanted to be complimentary to the books I read, mm -hmm. but I also um, wanted I mean, sometimes I'm a little shy. I don't want to say, but my book will be better. You know, <laughs> yeah. if there's, there's got to be an art to that, that I don't understand yet. And, and we could actually great. show, we could screen share some people's mm -hmm. samples of that. That is a great idea. Great. And I think we would learn from one another what's worked and what hasn't worked or mm -hmm. ideas. That sounds great. I love that idea of, of helping people find how they are going to uniquely say something that's already been said, because there's nothing new under the sun. No, none of us are going to say something new, but learning to recognize what's unique about you and how you as a person are equipped by God to speak this message or tell this story in a way that only you can tell it and compare it to the other ones that are successful and not slam them and put them down, but still be able to show how you shine as, as different. I think that's really good. I had an editor ask me that once at a writer's conference when I was presenting an idea. She says, well, what makes you uniquely the person to write this book? And I blew it. I stammered. I didn't, I wasn't ready to answer that question. So, you know, sometimes having that confidence that that section might give us confidence and give mm -hmm. us a way to do it that we don't realize also. And that, that is a great idea. It is a good idea. Bethany volunteered to stay on afterwards if you didn't see it in the chat um if you need help with comps so we might have like a, a short mini class right after <laughs> right a after. mini little tutorial a mini yeah. tutorial right now or in a few yeah. minutes so yeah. hang in there people lisa what do you mean about mailchimp like email providers type thing yes um <laughs> yes is that what you call mailchimp it's where you set it up so that it automatically sends out your yeah. newsletter and and all that it's it's a learning curve for me, mm -hmm. you know, technology. We can't just sit and write anymore. There's so much other that's involved in mm -hmm. what we do, as we all know. Yeah, <laughs> the whole technology trend would be a general thing. Yeah. What's new on the technology front, too, would be another topic, because I don't know about you you guys. Well, we've had aliens already today. What was it, Norma, <laughs> they had the aliens? No. <laughs> I, the, the, when we first got on, yeah. I, I tell you, it, 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 it's so frustrating so quickly. And, you know, the, the mail providers, email lists, you know, all that, it, that's all part of that technology that most of us are not. I'm looking at our age. Some of you guys are younger. That We're not, what do they call it, digital natives, you know. And we didn't grow up with this, so it doesn't come second nature. I just set up my personal author website, and part of that for me was learning WordPress um, because the, the program I used for years for making websites, they decided not to continue supporting it. Thank you very much, Adobe. But, <laughs> no, Bethany, I am not bitter. I will not be bitter about that. But I'm bitter about Blab. <laughs> I will, I will say that part, I've integrated my blog into the website, and then I just had to go through figuring out how to connect that to my mailing list, and, you know, what, if, do you just use their, their automated mm -hmm. tools, or do, you do specific tools, so right now, I am working my way through that whole uh, maze, and it is a maze, you end up sometimes at a dead end wall, and you're like, how did that happen, mm -hmm. so yeah, that is, that would be a great topic. And uh, the whole idea of an author website, that is something that, uh, that I, have, I have gotten under my huh? belt a little bit and what should be on it and why and how do you tie Let's it? Let's do author that. websites. Mm -hmm. Because if you're like me, I had been doing it piecemeal, you know, a little here, a little there, mm -hmm. a little Facebook, a little, you know, and yeah. I, I think that I'm, I'm starting to get the hang of it, streamlining it all together. And this is one thing that serious writer and almost an author that they do so very well. They have, they are connected. And I'd like to know, wow, how do you guys do that? So I agree that technology topic would be great. 
That sounds good. And we're, we're all laughing. This, I think we need to have some more open mic on a topic <laughs> like this again. It has been in the, the chat's been delightful tech Amish over there, you know. I, know, I love it. I read the chat to get all of the tech mouth. Oh, that is wonderful. But you know, it's been, uh, it's, I don't know, it strengthens us as a community to be sharing, I think, today. Other ideas. We got a few more minutes before we stop the recording and go to the after party. Any other ideas, areas that you think we're missing? Well, that's a good question. Yeah. I missed it. What was it? I said that oh. was a good question. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what are we missing? I would love to hear some of your routines, some of the things that you, you have over the years built in. Um, one of you made a point of sharing that you saved that day's work, every, when you were working on management, you would save that day's work with that date, and it was a mm -hmm. new pile. That was, that was brilliant in my world. Oh, thank <laughs> you. <laughs> you guys have learned tricks over the years mm -hmm. that have, because you have had to overcome children and husbands and business and laundry and dishes and all that stuff. And, <laughs> as somebody who's still very, very, very new and, and trying to manage my life, your habits are revelations to me. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's good. That's yeah. good. Yeah. It's, it's something we take for granted and we don't realize and, you know, maybe yeah. just spend some time talking. I listened to a podcast this morning and they talked about organizing your office when you work from home. And I thought that's that. I thought at the time that might be an a topic. You know, we could almost show each other's offices what work they were talking about having two mm -hmm. monitors up. You know, and I'm not. Well, I don't do enough of just with one. Gaffney yeah, does. Gaffney <laughs> does. Uh, the standing desk was something oh, else. We talk about. Right now, yeah. I have one and I don't stand at it. Yeah, I had this one. All this money on a nurse laptop. So I have one right now, and I should. Be standing up and I don't but you know it's, it's little tricks like that that you don't realize you tell know. us about your microphone Beth <laughs> again it's not hooked up <laughs> it just it looks really good though we're fooling you okay. <laughs> here's the thing <laughs> she looks so professional the perception <laughs> is, is it everything, everything. Yeah. and I'll tell you a secret I'll say this online I wasn't even going to pull it out last week but then Brendan got on with his headphones and I was like <laughs> not even working That's but i'll tell you what though here's where, here's where i learned that it's always by accident so i was in a webinar with brian harris who i is my he teaches email marketing any class i teach on email marketing is pulled from different people i love him he's incredible he's also very kind and generous with his time so some of us got to go on with him live after his webinar is still on the recording. Well, I was one of the people that got picked and I was using the microphone <laughs> for real at that time. <laughs> so I had it on and working and I was the only one in the group besides him who had it. And I, I remember when my screen flashed on, I saw the reaction of everybody and I thought it was the microphone. Like all of a sudden I was the professional and then the, the air shifted when I talked and I thought it was because of that microphone being in the camera. <laughs> so I never forgot that. So in my little trade secrets class that we have, for, you know, for free on the Academy right now, it's, I have a class on why you should even just buy one and just stick it right here. <laughs> <laughs> but don't it say you're not using it. Don't say and now it I have to keep using it. I do need to start using it. So I'm image. trying to get used to it. Okay. It's the image. It's the image on, the, on that way. You're recording some of this, Bethany. A couple people have put a couple other ideas in the chat. So you want to, might want to grab them. <laughs> I love it. I love it on, on that way. Well, it is noon, so we'll probably have to wrap up at least the recording portion. Stay on, guys, because we'll have our after party on, on that way. Um, any <laughs> thoughts, Johnny, Bethany, before we stop? The, we're giggling now, but. <laughs> yeah, I was just thinking it would be so fun for all of us next time to have a little, like, toilet <laughs> <for fire. laughs> We all look professional next time on that. I was so professional, my curtain kept falling kept down. I don't know if you remember. Oh, yes, I remember that. We used yeah. to like bets how long it would take. How long would my curtain last this show? You know, so yeah, we kept losing the curtain, curtain on that. So, <laughs> on that. We've, we've definitely had fun here. So, this, uh, oh, Bethany, before we go off, 
can you want to say something about the the almost an author contest that's going on right now yeah so we are celebrating um serious writer inks birthday the merge um and we're going to use uh, July 1st as our official birthday because of almost an author having an actual official birthday. So we're actually calling it our birthday week. And we are giving away gifts instead of, uh, you can't ask for gifts for a company. So that's weird. But um, so we are giving, it's going to be our biggest giveaway ever is going to be on our birthday week. And so we are giving away a free conference registration or tour staff registration of your choice to any of our events. Um, for life so like if you can't go this year you might go to go next year and also that person is going to win ev access to every class that we currently have in serious writer wow. academy wow. so if you go to seriouswriteracademy.com we have a ton of instructors we've got all the genres represented there's a lot of marketing and business stuff kyle and i both love that area so it's we've got a lot of classes in there we've also got a lot of people who are teaching children's writing and uh, fiction and craft and nonfiction and things like that. So one person's going to have conference plus the entire academy um, up to this point. So that mm -hmm. is on our Facebook page. <laughs> I'm going to put the link in here. Please share because um, we're hoping to grow the community this way too. Uh, so I'll go ahead and put that in there. But yeah, it's our and Friday. I think Friday the eighth. I think is when it ends. Um, we're just doing a, a simple raffle copter giveaway. So real That's easy. Okay. Thank you for doing that. That's exciting. That's yeah, it. thank you. That's exciting. And, and, you know, along that line, we encourage, if you know other writers to come on Writers Chat, please encourage them yes, to get, get over to SeriousWriter.com and all what they offer or, or join us on Tuesdays or watch the replay, you know, because a lot of you guys have kind of joined us in the mix as we've gone along and we just, we just love the community here. So this has been, this has been fun today, guys. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, mm -hmm. uh, we will finish up the recording we hope to uh join next week johnny do you know next week's topic uh, bethany has got next week's topic yes, bethany. i want to go ahead and say the website on air too since i put it yes. in the chat seriouswriter.com slash happy hyphen birthday hyphen giveaway um that's where the website is so next week we are going to have uh jim rubart who is james l rubart is his author name he is a multiple award-winning author of uh, Christy Winner as well for his novels and his books are fantastic. He also loves marketing and does consulting and he's a fantastic copywriter. And so uh, we are going to dig into copy, which is important even if you are a novelist because you have to write copy for social media and your emails and your pitches and proposals, all mm -hmm. those things. It's all copy. So he's going to um, talk to us about that. And I am so excited. So excited. And this is copywriting, not copyright. So I mean, so there's yes. <laughs> this is a whole different thing. So copywriting is like even like backstory blurb, back cover blurbs and, you know, all that kind mm -hmm. of kind of stuff. And then I picked up this book just recently called Words That Sell. You know, I love a word person. And this is by Richard... Oh. Banyan, you know, and so it's just, I love it because you can pull out a list of like the word popular and then you find other words that sell that nice. put, put in copy. So I'll share that and stuff. And just FYI, as we close out, I'll miss you guys the next three weeks. I can't believe that. I will be traveling. So I won't be back to the end of the month, but I will be back at the end of the month and we'll trust my two you words. You we'll will keep. be missed, but have well, a great you guys time. That stuff. Well, I'm going on a, uh, silent retreat if you believe that for eight days believe that and then we're going to go on a cruise so i'm going to have some fun so anyway so oh, uh, you guys, guys, bethany did you want to say anything about igtv real quick before we go yes 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 so how many of you wish that you had started with youtube back when youtube was a baby <laughs> well, me. well instagram well, y'all, Instagram is seriously a mini website. We've said that before, but they just launched IGTV. So you can do like, like your live little channel on Instagram, but it doesn't have to be live. It can be pre-recorded video. Nice. So Ooh. one of the strategies that I'm starting, um, you guys should all be on Instagram. I'm just saying. It just hit a billion people. A billion. Um, I'm wow. filming like these videos now and I'll be putting them on IGTV first and then I'll take that same video clip and I will put it over on YouTube. 
So Google owns YouTube, Facebook owns IGTV. Well, obviously that's going to be competition at some point with YouTube since the users are already on Instagram. So um, it's very fun to watch the social media world and how the, the competition is, you know, is coming. But YouTube just got a little harder with um, the rewards they're giving to people and the, like the milestones they have to get to before they get like X number of whatever. Mm -hmm. But you can be on the ground floor of IGTV on Instagram. And like I said, they just hit a billion users per month, I think is the accurate term. And over 500 million people use it daily. So, so we need to add that. As you, you do that journey, we need to have you on like really quick so we can get started on mm -hmm. that if we want to. Yeah, I'm going to have my first one up this week. So okay. Instagram.com. Bethany, Jet, I'm, in my stories, I'm going to be documenting some of the process there. So, mm -hmm. so I'll hopefully be shoving some of that over to Facebook stories now that that feature is easier inside of Instagram stories. And if you're like, I don't know what you're talking about, just um, let's talk in the Facebook group. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah. I'm just curious, is IGTV ah. a separate website or do you go to Instagram and mm -hmm. enter it there? You go yep. to as soon as you log into your um, account, okay. it's been rolling out over the, it's a little orangey okay. icon. Okay, so that's our assignment today to explore that. <laughs> so we can ask Bethany questions on that one. Yeah. So we're going to figure it out. We'll okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you again, everybody, for joining us today. We hope to see you next week on next week's Writer's Chat. And uh, thank you if you're watching this by the replay. This has been a really fun. The Boy, the hour went, hour and seven minutes went. I know. Really went. Went. <laughs> really went. But we're glad you joined us today. And we love you guys very much. This is a great family community. Thank you for joining us. And we'll see you next thank week. Bye-bye. Happy 4th. Happy 4th.